Cancers. This is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Here with the monthly intuitive reading, love scope, for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising for the month of March 2020. Take advantage of the specials. This is the last week for the specials, Capricorn. 30 for 30, 60 for 60. Hit me up. All Seeing Eye Tarot at gmail.com in order to book those, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit and Universe, what's the message you got for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of March. In the first position, show Capricorn any secrets that their significant other is keeping from them, as well as a little history of that relationship. In the second position, show Capricorn how their significant other feels about them, as well as um, where they currently stand in that relationship. In the third position, show us absolutely what is going to happen guaranteed to happen for the month of March in the lives of Capricorn. Okay. Here we go, Capricorn. First card out. Three of Cups. Three of Swords. Seven of Cups, Ace of Coins, Temperance, Eight of Cups, damn. Under the Three of Cups, we got the Eight of Swords. Under the Three of Swords, we have the Ten of Coins. Under the Seven of Cups, Eight of Coins. Under the Ace of Coins, we got the Two of Cups. Under Temperance, King of Coins. And under the Eight of Cups is the Ace of Swords. What's the advice that you have for the Capricorns that are dealing with the energy on the board? Knight of Coins. Four Cups. Oh, Capricorn. I thought it would be good. All right. Spirit guides of Capricorn, please come forward. Give Capricorn advice. What should they do about their significant other? How do they fix this relationship between them and this particular person? What's the advice that you have for them? How do they fix it? One card. The High Lord of gratitude and service. I'm going to read this as a challenger because it came in reverse. Okay. That's from the wisdom of the hidden realms. This is from the wisdom of the oracle. Spirit guides of Capricorn. What is it that you're trying to tell Capricorn that they cannot see clearly about this particular individual that they're dealing with? What, you, what have you been trying to tell them about this person? Whoa. Whoa. That is a lot of cards. Let's do it again. Okay, come on. What you trying to tell me about this particular person? One card. Yang. All right, here we go. Capricorn. Okay, babies. Okay, Capricorn. What if? Okay, right now I'm going to get on your. I'm going to get on you really good, Capricorn. Okay. Because <clears throat> what I'm looking at right here is you being in love with someone, particular individual, your ex, can't move forward from that person, can't live with them, can't live without them, okay? And then it looks like they return, or they recently have returned, but then... You know what I think this is? I think that this is Capricorns. Your your lover has returned into your life. This is the person you love, the person you want to be with. Okay, but then when they've returned into your life, you're not trying to show them how you really feel. There's a disconnect when it comes to chemistry and your emotions. You're having a problem with showing this person just how much you love them. You're not doing the work. Okay. Um, this could also be 
what spirit is trying to say, Capricorn, you're expecting, your head is in a cloud. Your perception is all fucked up. You're expecting that your man or your woman should already come equipped. Already come like a husband. Already come like a wife. For you. But you didn't mold and fix this person to do so. Okay? So you could be... It, it seems to me like you have too high of expectations. Your, your head is in the clouds. You're asking for something that is impossible for the universe to make. Because when they make that person, that person ain't going to want you. Because you're not together. Okay? That's what it looks like. When I look at the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Coins, Ace of Coins, Two of Cups. It kind of seems... And then the Three of Swords back here and the Ten of Coins. It's like you're asking for something that is impossible to make. So we send you a substitute. Now you're dissatisfied. Maybe it ain't you. Maybe your partner is dissatisfied with you. This is definitely going to be very relevant for those of you that are Capricorn and you're dealing with other Capricorns and Tauruses. Other Earth signs like yourself. I can't help but to look this up. I got to look at some of these cards. I'm sorry. I got to see this. Clarify that Eight of Swords. Let me see. Four of Cups. Tell me more. Knight of Cups. <laughs> it just reminds me of being obsessed with someone. You know, you know, like, and there's women that act like this. They are, they think about this person all the time. 24-7, they want this person. They're not going to move on with nobody else. But as soon as this person turn and come towards them, then they act like they're not that crazy about them. I guess they. I guess that's like a reverse psychology. Maybe they do that to. I don't. I. I know why they do it. They do it because they're afraid to get dissed or they're afraid of rejection. But their mythology or your mythology, Capricorn, for doing that—that's not always wise. Because what happened is you got a person who's working their ass off to try to prove to you that they want to be with you. And your head is up in the clouds. Your head is stuck in your ass. And now they're dissatisfied with you. So they decide that you're not the one and they move on with someone else. That's that's the situation here. All right. You need some help. You don't know what you're doing. All right. You, you seriously don't know what you're doing when it comes to this love thing. Clarify the three swords. the tower you refuse you refuse to be broken you refuse the universe to take out some of the shit that's inside of you that's bad that you don't need so you don't want to get in the washing machine and be cleaned you don't want to um, fix your flaws you walk around like a narcissist you think your shit don't stink but you have a trail of failed relationships behind you until you get into that washing machine and you be purged out. And I think it's because Capricorn has a really hard time taking rejection or being put down. They take it really hard. The saying goes, Capricorn does not like to be put down with someone else, by someone else. They prefer to put themselves down. They beat themselves up. They don't want nobody else to beat up on them. But you're going to need to be able to take somebody else beating you down in order to rebuild you because your makeup is wrong get me your makeup is wrong especially for this partnership that you're dying to have looks like a very promising partnership it could actually work looks like a karmic soulmate the problem is you don't want to give up listen you're in a relationship in order to go through the washing machine and to throw out regurgitate Throw out all the negativity that makes you unwhole. But you get in a relationship and you hold on to your, your fucked up ways. That's what's going on. You're holding on to your fucked up ways. You're not releasing it. And it kind of looks to me that some of you are going to be very disappointed this month in March. Because your partner's just going to pick up and walk out the door. They're going to look for something better. Because there's no compromise with you. 
They keep telling you and complaining about your issues. And you guys separate a lot. You separate and then you come back together and they're hoping that you've changed. And they come back, you're the same person. Clarify the Ten of Coins. Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. When I look at these cards, you guys, this reminds me. I feel like I'm talking to Capricorn who been dealing with a particular individual for many years. Like, y'all might have dated real early on in high school. And y'all broke up during college. And they ended up hooking up with someone else and they had a child by that person. Or they could have had a kid with you too, Capricorn. It's possible. But I can't help but to think, when I look at these cards, when I read them, even though it's really buried in here. I still know what they're trying to say, but it's buried heavy in here. If I could speak from the other person's perspective, the other person is telling me he or she think they're all that. They think their shit don't stink. They constantly put me down, tell me they could have somebody better than me. But they don't realize they're fucked up. They're fucked up. And they don't realize that I have, when I left them the first or second time, I found something that's better. It also kind of reminds me of women who has been dealing with someone for a long time and you're forcing him to marry you, put a ring on it. But he can't see a future with you because you, you got flaws that you won't let go of. You refuse to be fixed. And with your refusal to be fixed, they're going to come to a determination this month. And they're going to say, you know what? It's not worth it anymore. And they're going to move on. Give me the Eight of Cups. The Emperor. This is the man leaving a woman. See? The Emperor with the Nine of Pentacles. This could also represent that this Capricorn woman is very selfish. Very selfish. Selfish with her love, her attention, her affection. But she thinks she's the shit. And I know people like that. You think you're the shit. You ain't got no history that says you're the shit. Other than the fact that maybe you have a really decent job. Or maybe you, you know, maybe you bought your house. And you've had your house for a long time. Or you got a nice car. But you're fucked up in the head. Because anybody can get that. And I'm not downplaying, you know, your education or what you've learned thus far. But what I'm trying to teach you is, it's 45 women to one man. <laughs> you got to start asking yourself, what could I give this man that the next bitch can't? What can I give this man that the next woman can't? They all got a pussy. They all got lips and a tongue to suck or whatever. What can you give that the next woman can't? Maybe you could pay his rent. But then you don't want to be used. You don't want somebody to be with you just to use you for what you have. You want to be somebody's wife. Capricorn, what Spirit is trying to tell you is that when it comes to love and relationships, you're very selfish and you have a false perception of what it takes to make a relationship work. And you're at risk of being put out or being washed up. Especially some of you that are 
your biological clock is ticking. You're getting older. And the older you get, the more set in your ways you become. The more it's harder for you to change. Something that you've been doing 40 plus years. You have to look over your history. And see what you've accomplished. Other than going to school and accomplishing a degree. And that's great to accomplish, absolutely. I would want you to have an education and to have a career. But are you married? Do you have children? How long have you been married? Are you with your husband or your wife? These are questions you got to ask yourself. <clears throat> I'm at a loss for words here. I ain't gonna lie to you, Capricorn, because I'm not used to seeing that from you guys. I'm not used to seeing that from you guys. Not when it comes to your love life. You're usually very sharing and caring people. And I can understand going through betrayals could make you kind of apprehensive about helping people. But but we're this is so much deeper than just financial assistance. This is when it comes to your love and sharing your heart. Because your partner is coming forward and saying, he or she doesn't know how to love me. He or she takes me for granted. So what do you do with that? You got to learn how to love, sweetheart. Let me tell you something. I think that what your partner is saying is that you're so financially driven that you love takes a back seat for you. You're driven. You're worried about your career and your finances so much so that you, you're you lifeless. If the most important thing in the world or on the universe is love and all you worry about is your career and how much money you make, you're lifeless. You're not living inside. And that's what that is. You've accomplished everything you could accomplish financially. Yeah, you got it going on. You own your own shit and everything. But when it comes to love, there's nothing there. It's an empty shell. This person is trying to love you, this emperor. They're trying to love you. They're trying to give you a chance. And you might have heard it more than once, how selfish that you are. It's a power struggle. You're power tripping right now. You got to play your position. It's very difficult for an accomplished and established woman to step down. Most established women, just women, um, that are financially secure, independent and got good jobs, they're single as hell. They can't get a man to save them life, their lives, and they can't keep them. Because they were taught, get an education, take care of yourself, be independent. So then when they're with a relationship, they're with a man or a woman or same sex, doesn't matter. They don't know how to give love unless it's buying gifts or, you know, paying the bills. And then you run into someone who is all about emotions. And it's not working. Capricorn book a personal reading. I'll say not to gmail.com because you're you're those of you that are in a relationship. You're running the risk of losing your partner this month. I feel a lot of them are gonna pick up and walk out the door. They're not happy. Because they keep taking a back seat to your career. You're not emotionally supportive. You're not showing them love and affection and attention that they need. So they're running the risk of walking out the door. Even though you look like you got your shit together, financially secure, you're beautiful, you got a nice body. They don't give a fuck. 
It's 45 women and one man. They have a better chance at finding someone who has a nice body, who has a beautiful career, who is faithful and looking for a man than a woman looking for a faithful man does. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's 45 women and one man. Hit me up. Don't lose this. Hit me up. Those of you that are single, some of you are asking, I'm single, Bella. I don't have nobody. Shit. What the fuck? Is there a, is there a man coming in for me? Okay. That's not me. That doesn't resonate because I'm single and I've been single for 50 years. Well, because you're selfish, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Spirit is trying to tell you. All you think about is your goddamn career and your money. That's why we don't give you love. You're horrible at showing love. You're horrible at loving. A person getting involved with you would feel deprived. That's why you're single for so long. Because you focus more on your career than you do love. That's like the Capricorn lifetime is about learning how to manage your career, your family, and your love. And that's what it's about, being a Capricorn. That's, that's the lesson. You know, so if you're asking, okay, well, how do I get, okay, I, I went after my career, I have the career now, so how can I find love now? Then I have to literally change your perception. Those of you that have been independent, you take care of everything, you take care of yourself, you don't know how to be submissive. You've been taking care of yourself, you've been doing your own goddamn thing, you can pay your own bills and his and everybody else's. So you don't know how when somebody says humility or sensitivity or being a girl, <laughs> a woman, you don't know how to show that emotion because you've been in the workforce, you've been out here in corporate society. So you have to put on this mask or this, this uh, full body armor that takes away sensitivity. I totally understand you guys. I do. But I encourage you to give it a personal reading because we could be here forever. That requires a spiritual analysis, okay? You got to get broke down and you have to see, you know, where you where your countenance has fallen, where you laid it down. That sort of thing. What do you do? How do you get a partner? How do you keep your partner? The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Remember, I'm reading that in reverse as a challenger because it came upside down. All right. As a challenger, when the High Lord of Gratitude and Service comes to challenge you, he signals a time for deep self-inventory. <coughs> Ask yourself if your desires are driving you to become more self-serving. Have you forgotten to help others? Are you so focused on arriving at your goal or destination that you've become isolated from the ones who care for you? Do your ambitions relate to making yourself special apart from others or better than they are? Have you become competitive, envious, or driven? The High Lord of Gratitude and Services challenges you to accept a gentle gift in the form of a new perception of wealth and ambition. There is an ancient saying scrawled on an old stone wall. True ambition is not what you believe it to be. No focus on winning a jeweled prize. No amount of pomp and circumstance will achieve true prosperity. True ambition is the deep desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of the divine in service to all. You can also apply this to relationships. The impulse to have your own way or control how things will be served only to push away the one you love. It creates an energy block that repels your desired outcome so that it's far out of your reach. Let go and let the divine lead you to the highest outcome. In a tiny, still moment of surrender, mirac miracles are born. When you shift your perception in alignment with this high Lord, success will indeed be yours. That's from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Now from the Wisdom of the Oracle, the card is Yang. What have you been missing out on? What can't you see? What 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 is not apparent to you? What don't you get? Yang, that's masculine, right? Yep. 
the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifest in thought and desires into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the sharp. You are the shaper of your destiny now. I'm going to read the relationship. It says circumstances are supporting actions on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. More love in your life. More love. That's what Spirit's been trying to teach you. Okay? Success is so much more sweeter when you have someone to share it with. Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing I tarot at gmail.com. In the subject line, make sure you put 30 for 30, 60 for 60, or the spiritual analysis. I will see you again, Capricorn, next month. Thank you so much.